Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with the Fleece Fox Studio, and I thought I would set up my green screen and show everyone that is interested, or maybe not interested, um, how I work with the green screen and set up my lighting here in my basement studio. Hope you enjoy. So the equipment I use is this long-tailed green screen, which goes up to the ceiling here. Um, the trail is about 20 feet, so I have plenty of room to work with. Um, I use two box lights, uh, soft box lights, to light the screen, and you can see that it's pretty well wrinkle free, um, but it doesn't really matter as long as your subject is not wearing anything green. And then to light my subject, it's hard to see, but I have um, two umbrella lights from ePhoto, um, and I also have my third soft box light here which is used to make sure there's lighting around the subject um, on all sides. When standing in the green screen it's very important not to stand too close because if you do you'll start to make shadows on the screen which sometimes are difficult to key out whenever you do your chroma key. So try to stand maybe three or four feet in front of the lights that are lighting the screen. All right, now that we have some amazing, awesome, action-packed filled green screen footage to work with, let's jump into After Effects. So I'm going to import my footage that we just took and I'm going to drop it into a new composition. And here we have the film we just took. So to key out this green backdrop, we're going to go to Effect and we're going to go to Keying and we're going to go to key light and use this dropper tool select any random green color and it looks decent already but what we want to do is go to this final result drop down and go to screen matte so it's a black and white now everything that's black in here will be um, keyed out and everything that is white will actually be um, visible so um, select this green palette here and you can actually take this and slide it around until you find the color that best suits um, what you're looking for. So down here seems to do well. It makes this black and this very white. So okay. Now there are more options you can click down here um, in the screen mat. You can bring up the clip black and you can bring down the white. So now you can see it's very nice, except for maybe this spot up here, which is going to be hard to work with because it is reflecting the green off of the backdrop. So now that this is done, um, now you want to go back to your final result. And now you can see that background is totally gone. Now what I can do, you see all this side edge stuff here, which you do not want. Click this mask tool and just make what's called a garbage mask around your person and you go down here once it's connected there it is totally gone and now you're able to put any background that you want um, you can go into say uh, the internet here and whatever you would like to put back here doesn't matter how about a nice forest? This one looks nice. So you will save that image. And now, if you go back to your project, you can import that file that you just got. And of course, it's hard to find. There we go. All right, and now drop that below the footage, and it's terribly small, so you can scale it back up, and there you go. Now, I am on a background that is of a forest. Pretty cool stuff. So that's how you work with green screens. Um, hope somebody learned something that didn't know about green screens previously.
I think they're pretty cool, and um, they will be used a lot here in the upcoming Turtles in a Snuggly movie. Hopefully be out sometime in 2011. Alright, see you next time.